In this video I'm going to show you how to use the drawing tools and some other features in the Swing Catalyst system. If you'd like more information about the Swing Catalyst system, please go to Swing Catalyst at www.swingcatalyst.com, click on the tutorials and you will see here you can find information about the Swing Catalyst system. Now back to the drawing tools. Here on the left hand side of the Swing Catalyst system you'll find a select button and other information to the left hand side. I will go through those in just a moment. After the capture, the swings come down at the bottom here, which is called the stack. You can actually drag and drop or double click on the video to have it come up in the window. If you'd like to change the actual uh, video or the cameras, what you can do is click on this camera and we will switch maybe to down the line here or if you prefer face on. So it's a way to switch back and forth. Now we can get into some of the drawing tools. A common one to golf professionals is the sway figure. We will use red, maybe in a medium thickness. If we click on that, you can see just to the right of the cursor, you see the uh, sway figure. That means it's attached. So what we'll do is we will click, hold it down, move the mouse around to you get in, into a good position. Up comes a square around it. Take the cursor, move or adjust the lines, fine tuning to the way you like it click off of it and there you have that position. Moving into some of the other features, we'll change colors. We'll go to the green. We will go to a uh, thin line here to the line. Maybe we'll just go right onto shaft plane this way there. If we go into the maybe a circle, we'll change again colors here. We'll go to blue, click on the circle and if you miss, which I've done right there, what you can do is click on the select and move over. Just double click right on there, drag it, drop it right into position, and release that way. If you'd like to erase some of these, go up to the erase button right there and just hold the mouse down, uh, move the mouse around. If you, I would say left click, move the mouse around, you will re re erase those. I'll get into clear all here in a moment. We can draw some more. We'll go into pink. If we go into the freehand, maybe what we'll do is go, we'll outline Suzanne Pedersen's body this way, LPG Tour player. There. We can also go into, maybe we go into the orange, go really thick. We'll go squares. Maybe you're looking at something in regards to the, the knee position that way there common one in regards to video if we get up here maybe we go back maybe at uh, position this way here is an angle what we'll do is we will use let's use blue there go right up into the position that you want use the cursor arrow as a starting point uh, left click on the mouse drag it into the position while holding down release the left button of the mouse, drag into the ending position, and then click on the left tab again on the mouse. So there you would have the angle of the swing that way. You can also add text. If we go here, we'll use the yellow. We'll go text, click here, and we can say nice position right there. Now even if you want to move that around, if you weren't happy with that position, you can click drag it right down there. What I can do now is erase all the swings. If I go here at clear all, use a trash can, that will take all the swings away. There's another feature here in regards to uh, freehand. That's mainly used when you fill a video. Not much happens here, but I'll show you here in a moment. If you click on fill, fill video here at the top, take the freehand. You can move the positions from side to side. In a moment I'll get into synchronization. There's a tab here to the right hand side in this mode. If you click on that, if you have a balance plate, uh, motion plate, uh, some of the other uh, technologies out there like launch monitor, you get all of that data on the right hand side. You can click on the tab and it hides it. You can actually, there's a view modes. Uh, we'll go into compare now. So we have two swings. If we want to know which one was which, obviously you have right up here at the top, which you've maybe pre-installed the 7-iron. Here's a 9-iron. 
and here again if we were to take away the fill, fill video you can see how the uh, videos are much smaller so we'll keep them nice and large we'll actually move this one over right about there we'll get Suzanne centered there just like that there so now the tab that I showed you on the side when you go into compare mode it moves to the bottom so here you get a lot of information uh, what we'll do is we'll actually put on timing tempo rhythm right there and we'll use the launch modder as an as a uh, information so what we're going to do now is synchronize these two swings we need to do that by the arrows there the tabs down below here as I set the tabs you'll see that the tempo rhythm will actually change so now taking or unlocking the lock there we we'll actually go to the first tab. If you click over the first tab, it says start of takeaway. So use that tab in regards to finding the start of the takeaway. So now I'm using this video here to the left-hand side. And as you can see, the right-hand side uh, darkens to focus on the left-hand side. And we'll get right in there to start of swing. Use the second tab. Go to top of backswing. Adjust it right about where the top of the backswing is right there. And then the third tab is the impact. And as I do this, you can begin to see already the tempo and rhythm box has filled in information. Do the same down here at the bottom. That's for the other swing. Uh, this is the swing using the 9-iron. So again, we'll go start of the swing right there. We will go to top of backswing. We'll say it's right there. And then impact, moving it right there. We'll lock that position. We'll move the button here at the beginning so you can see that these markers aren't exactly lined up. Go to synchronize the swings. A box will pop up to select how you'd like to synchronize the two swings. We'll start at the top. Start of takeaway. If you click on that, you see those two tabs have perfectly aligned so that if you begin the video, they will start simultaneously. If you want to see the swings when they're synchronized at the top of the swing, if you move in here, you can see the swings do not start at the same time. One will start before the other, but then moving. Actually, I'll reduce the speed down, and you can see that they will be positioned or synchronized at the top of the swing. And then finally, which is the most common for golf professionals in analyzing swings, is the impact position. Click on the synchronizing swings to impact right there. Oops. There we go. Start the swing. So again, you can have these swings synchronized that way. Another uh, nice feature in regards to the swing catalyst system is if you didn't, if you want to use a synchronizing at the same time, uh, that's available. But if you'd like to see the swing individually in this mode, you can actually go to uh, enable or disable playback. Here's swing A, which is highlighted. So if I take the ball and move, we can actually move the uh, left frame without anything happening to the right frame and then vice versa. If I click on that, that turns orange and I can move it this way there. If you have any other questions in regards to the Swing Catalyst system, please feel free to contact uh, Swing Catalyst, go on their website, uh, and even send us an email. Thank you for your time.